if one's going to be a dualist, the two most famous forms of dualism are dualism of substances and a dualism of properties. I tend to stay away from talk about substances here, partly because I don't know exactly what substances are supposed to be. But to me, I think the biggest issue is near here is does one need irreducible properties or does one also need irreducible particulars? So at the very least, I think one needs new and fundamental properties of conscious experience. Does one also need a new and fundamental subject of experience to bear those properties? And I don't know the answer to that question. So in my book, The Conscious Mind, I argued for property dualism, not excluding dualism of particulars or substances, just because that's where the arguments go. I think this can be combined with views where there are, I think if you're going to be a, a classical dualist, I think it makes most sense probably to have an irreducible particular. If on the other hand, you're going to be a panpsychist, then I think you'll have fundamental physical particulars with fundamental phenomenal properties and subjects had better be derivative from there. And then that I think would not be seen as a dualism of substances at best of properties.